go. Okay. I'm Dr. Carol Bartholomew, and what we're going to do is a blood analysis to show what smoking does to the blood cells. Mary has agreed to um, be without cigarettes for over six hours. We're going to draw her blood. We're going to look at it under a microscope. Then we're going to redraw her blood after she smoked a cigarette. And we're going to see what the effect of that cigarette smoke is on the blood. No one has ever done this experiment officially, as far as I know. But we're going to do that today because we like to do research. And in a few minutes, we'll be showing you the microscope and showing you the blood draw on Mary. It's just a prick of the finger. But the main emphasis is what does cigarette smoke do to live blood? Occasionally we do live blood analysis here. It reveals a lot concerning the blood. It's just one of the things that we're capable of doing at Physicians Health Center. So we'll see you over there in the blood lab in just a second. Thank you. Got it? Okay, you're on. Here we are at the microscope. We're going to be pricking Mary's finger and putting the blood under the scope and then looking at it on the screen. So let's go ahead and get this slide prepared and then look at it on the screen. Done. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to get my finger pricked and I don't like needles but I'm going to go through with this. <laughs> Here's, oh, okay. here's the blood, Mary's blood. We're putting it on the slide. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now for you that know Mary, this is a courageous thing. She's offered to do this. We really have an idea what might happen, but there's no guarantees. Okay. Let's go down to here first. Okay. There's a low power, and we move to the higher power. Now one of the first things we see is clumping. She has a lot of clumping with her red blood cells. Let me check. Basically scan through the uh, through the whole slide. Now this is um, right here. You'll see a piece of intestinal bowel material. So she has leaky gut syndrome. You can tell that from the slide. There's a hair of some sort in there. There's another piece of bowel material right here. And we're just scanning the slide in general, looking for any abnormalities. And right there is another piece of bowel material, um, which confirms that she has leaky gut syndrome. We're not here really to diagnosed leaky gut syndrome today. However, some more pieces of bowel material, the darker portions in there. Let's take it down to a higher power and look at the cells more closely. Okay, the condition that we see here is called Rouleau. This would be a normal red blood cell here. And the, no the red blood cells, when the outside of their skin has an electrically um, negative charge, they begin to stack up and they look like coins, which is the French word for rouleau. So she has quite a bit of rouleau and a few um, normal cells and a little bit of bowel material here. Everything that we see is a little dark there is bowel material. I saw a cholesterol floating around here. It disappeared behind me, the rouleau. So 
See, this is a good example of the brulo or the stacking. Mm -hmm. There's a cholesterol right there. See that little cholesterol? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a little cholesterol molecule bouncing around. It would do well for you to take digestive enzymes because it happens from a uh, Rilo happens from a poor protein digestion, and when you take enzymes, it all those little red blood cells stop clumping and a lot more. Oh, there's a big chunk. You see that? What is that? That's a big chunk of bowel material. What that means is that your intestines have large pores, and the material comes right across the intestines. Intestinal wall goes directly in your blood. Usually there are a lot of bacteria, small bacteria associated with this. Um, looking in three dimensions here. Yep, see this? This is a, probably, well, I can't tell exactly what I'm supposed to say. Probably bacteria in there, but I guess it's not. Hold on. The reason that there would be bacteria around um, a chunk of bowel material is because they'll sit there and literally eat the bowel material in the blood. So, okay. though we don't see any right now, um, they haven't had a chance to chemo tax or move over to the bowel material and start to chew on it yet. See, it gets a little thicker and clumpier here. Okay, what I'm really going to be looking for is some red blood cells in the future that have changed their oxygen carrying capacity. And that's what we're really looking for coming up. So that's about all that's interesting on that portion. So we're going to have Mary What's going on that right now? And smoke. That's the same chunk of bowel material that I was at before. We're going to um, send Mary out to smoke a cigarette and then recheck her blood. So we'll be back with you in just a minute. Thank you. There you go. Did you Can you see me? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm having my first cigarette today. Dr. Carroll just poked my finger. And we just saw what my blood looks like. I'm smoking my cigarette. First one today. And then we go back in and Dr. Carroll will take my blood again and take a look at it. Uh, might get a little buzzed. Because I haven't had a cigarette since last night. Okay. Thank you. See you shortly. Stop it.